Hey guys, um, welcome to a little drawing session. Uh, I'm going to be recording the process, talking about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, for anyone that gives uh, a half a damn. No one's ever said that, but I just did, so whatever. I just coined a new term, and I'm not, uh, not ashamed of it. So, um, as you can see, I'm in Photoshop here. I've got um, an image here, kind of a widescreen image size, 5 by 12 at 100. Um, I like to start like at a lower resolution because it's easier. I'm on a laptop, so it's easier to kind of get stuff down. And then later, if I want to do polish it and take it to another level, I'll uh, up-res it when it's still kind of dirty and sketchy and then start doing um, the, the polishing at a higher resolution but we're just doing some um, kind of f almost like uh, free association sketching so I have no idea what I'm gonna sketch I'm just gonna start laying stuff down and um, uh, this is a fun way to make art because you can surprise yourself uh, I've got a lot of cool textural brushes here that I like to play with and uh, sometimes I just start throwing stuff down a lot of times um, and just let stuff uh, come out of it so let's uh, let's just jump in I'm probably gonna try and do one of these um, pretty regularly 30 minutes <clears throat> let's just see what happens so um, just throwing some marks down and I, I like to especially at this stage I like to jump around to the different um, to the different brushes um, one thing I also want to do is I want to bring in my grayscale uh, I have a grayscale thing that I made. See, the, see, I have a color wheel and a value wheel here. Not a wheel; it's just a bar. But it's um, it's kind of cool because you can like grab. If you need to, you can grab a value pretty quickly instead of having to like open up your color wheel and then go like scroll along this right. It just like it kind of gets annoying. So uh, we can also <clears throat> make this smaller. Put them up here in the corner like so. All right, cool. So like, you know, later I might want to be grabbing specific values, but for now I'm just going to, starting with the black, uh, I'm, I, I got pressure sensitivity on so I can go low or dark as I want, right? So yeah, let's, um, let's start throwing down some textural stuff and, uh, you know, you can, you can kind of make something big, make something small. There's nothing, there's, uh, there's nothing, there's no right or wrong at this stage. It's all just basically getting um, getting something down right it's kind of the same thing with writing if you're if you want to write a poem or you want to write a short story or something it's like you can outline it and think about it in your head all day but at a certain point you just got to start throwing something down so that you can react to it and have something to edit and uh, like I can tell you right now this is a uh, well it's not much but um, it's better than a, a blank sheet of paper I would rather stare at this for 50 years if if I was in a prison cell and someone said, do you want to stare at a white piece of paper or this thing that Tyler did in uh, 33 minutes, I would choose this. But hopefully we can uh, make something even better. So, no, I don't like that. I don't like stuff that's too, like, um, I don't know, it just feels like kitschy or something. It's like too, too uh, it feels like a stamp, you know what I mean? So I'm, uh, I like the uh, the brushes. Oh, this is a really cool one. I love that. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing here, guys, right at this stage, really. I mean, I'm just, I'm um, just kind of throwing stuff down. Um, there's not, there's no right or wrong. Uh, I like variety. I'm a big fan of, of line variety. So, um, you know, it's really cool when you do sort of work like this, where you can start to, um, your, your brain will start to like make sense of the madness of the noise which is really fun because like I said, I have no plan, but, um, uh, it's something will start to come out of it. Ah, I need to delete that guy. I don't like that brush. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, again, play with scale. Like, you can scale up your brush, right? And you can do something, like, really big. Why not? Um, and then you can scale her down and do do some line, line stuff. Um, 
you know, and sometimes these just don't turn out good, and that's okay, because uh, not everything we do in life turns out good. Sometimes we're failures to our parents and our friends and our family, and that's okay. Um, yeah, failing forward, I call it failing forward, where you can, uh, even if you feel like you make something that's a failure, <clears throat> you learn something from it, and therefore it wasn't a failure. Because what, if you learn something from it, then you didn't waste your time. You've actually grown, even though it doesn't feel like you've grown, uh, you have. And there's a lot of that with art. And I'm, and as in my opinion, there's a lot of failures and you're like, oh God, I suck. Like, I'm just worthless, you know, but um, you're, you're really kind of um, selling yourself short if you don't kind of give yourself opportunities to fail. And, and in my opinion, um, art, you know, if you'd never ever do any experimenting with, the, with your art, um, that is a bit of a problem in my view, because I think we learn stuff about failure, um, and we learn new techniques and we, and we get insight and revelations about our own what we like and our process through experimenting and failing. So <clears throat> I've never really understood people that just have their one process and it's always the same in every single step and they never deviate or, or go away from that. Um, to me, that seems like, um, I don't know. It just seems like a lost opportunity, you know, um, in my book. So, and I'm not saying you always have to do art like this and experiment like this. You don't. Um, I, I don't always do this either. Like I do illustrations and I, I sketch it out. I sketch the figures out and I do thumbnails and it's much more of a, um, what's the word? Uh, just, a um, conscious process of put taking what's in my head and saying, okay, I know I kind of have a pretty good idea of what I want to, you know, the figures against the landscape. And then I just start sketching it and try and, um, but what, but this, what we're doing here today, I don't know what we want to call it. Uh, we can just call it free association sketching or subconscious sketching or something. Um, it's, it's just fun. And it's like, you can't, it's like, what's fun about it is you can't, it's really, you, you know, you, you can't make a mistake if you don't let yourself, if that makes sense. Like I, I haven't really put a lot of thought into what I'm doing. And, um, you know, if we zoom out, um, we have some good value uh, variation. We have like this white, this lighter shape in here, um, some darker. That's what we always want. We always we don't want everything to be muddy, like that, right? Because then it's like, okay, well, we want some shapes and some variety and some things to stand out, and we wanna we wanna have some graphic qualities where we have contrast between our values and and then the line the line uh, quality has contrast, right? We've got these little lines and we've got bold, big bold you know, look at the canvas texture here in this brush. Um, that stuff creates interest for the eye. It's kind of like a playground. Your eye can kind of uh, float over this stuff and <clears throat> get lost and kind of get, kind of go around little shapes. And, um, and yeah, so with my work, I like to try to create things that are graphic, meaning if you stand really far away, you can still see, you can still see shapes and, and, um, silhouettes and things. And then the closer you get it, it gets even more interesting. There's, there's, there's little details and little, uh, textural or patterns or things within those bigger shapes that make you want to keep looking at the image versus something that's just flat with no texture, no details, no nothing. And it's just like, um, you know, like a black silhouette against a white background that would be boring. So, um, um, yeah, I could get into that another day, but let's, um, let's, uh, let's just keep going here. So, yeah, not really sure what I'm doing. So here's something, right? Like, okay, I've got something now and it's uh, looking pretty abstract, obviously. Let's flip it uh, horizontally and see if something emerges. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. This play stuff over here, this almost looks like <clears throat> some figures, these black shapes on this kind of, it almost looks like this could be a, like a piece of a landscape or a ground, whoops with uh, some shapes or it could be this. And this, that's another cool thing about this process is you can like, um, 
you could create stories and characters and, and stuff. And it's like literally coming from your subconscious, which is really cool. Um, so, and then, you know, over here, we've got these black shapes. Uh, yeah, it could be cool. Let's, let's flip this thing, um, vertically and see what happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Uh, you know, I have, now, sometimes I have this tendency, I'm going to flip it back for a minute. Sometimes I have this tendency to throw down stuff in a, almost subconsciously, you know, um, surprisingly enough, to make it like a, uh, almost like it's a um, landscape, right? You can feel that. And when we flip this upside down, it almost feels like, yeah, you flipped a landscape. Uh, it almost feels like it, right? But because it's like, well, what is going on? What's attached to this stuff up here? So, you know, that might be, if I had any failure up to this point, it would probably be like subconsciously trying to throw in a landscape. Cause I think we just do that as human beings. We want, especially, and again, this is also a landscape, uh, the format of this, like it's a rectangular, like a wide screen. So a lot of times we want, or maybe just me, maybe I just want to do uh, a landscape. Um, so, you know, uh, there's a lot of things we could do from here. We could keep pushing the abstract stuff, or we could say, you know what, I think I got something that is looking kind of cool. I uh, might start chipping away at some of these shapes and start playing and, and, um, but, uh, we've only been working on this for what, 10 minutes. Yeah. About 10 minutes. So, um, I think, you know, I could easily come in here and start chipping away at some of these shapes and start, you know, saying, yeah, these are figures and this is like a beach and, I don't think I want to do that though. I think I want to just keep playing and see, uh, see where it takes me. Let's, um, let's, let's lighten some of this stuff up over here. You know, I also like the idea of like, we don't want a checkerboard, meaning if there's something dark here, we don't want to just do it like that. That's like, cause now it's like even. So if we have something more like this and then this is dark and then that's going to create a more kind of a cooler, um, kind of focal point, you know, um, it's, you got to think about composition sometimes too. Um, but I don't know. I don't, if anyone's watching this and I doubt anyone is, uh, I don't want to overwhelm you just, um, yeah, let's, let's not put too, too much thought in it. We've only been doing it 10 minutes and we don't need to edit ourselves so much at this stage. Um, so, and we can keep flipping it. Let's keep flipping it and see what happens. Um, yeah, I mean, even, I could even, um, you know, you could have something dark there like that, and then we could lighten this up a little bit. So, you know, now it's really starting to feel like a little bit of a landscape here, down here, right? You know? Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like, it's a weird thing with this process, because you, it's, you're, it's, I'm, I always feel so tempted to just go ahead and get started and jump in and start making something that's recognizable, but, um, and that's cool. If you're inspired to do it, go for it. If you feel like you're ready, but at the same time, there's something really fun about just keeping, just keeping this process going. And, um, yeah. And just like, who cares? Like, let's not be afraid to screw this up. Cause remember, it's like, um, we're not trying to create a masterpiece here. We're just having, we're, it's just a, um, subconscious sketching, which means, um, it's kind of like you can take the pressure off of yourself for five minutes. I mean, as an artist, um, uh, whoa, as an artist, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves when we make art to make art that's good and that's going to impress everybody and that people are, it's going to change people's lives and save lives. And, um, you know, uh, we're going to get the, we're going to get awards and, and, um, cure cancer and stuff. So take that pressure off yourself, just have fun. Um, and, um, just let yourself make something that, uh, that you can't fail, that you can't, you can't make mess this up because it's already messed up from the very beginning. Does that make sense? Um, and, and, you know, as I'm adding stuff, it's just changing. It's totally changing, right? Like, uh, you can look at this and go, well, what the hell? Now we have something totally different and that's cool. Um, and we can zoom out and sometimes zooming out and looking at it as if it's a thumbnail can kind of give us, uh, can spark the imagination. Um, um, if my voice is, uh, annoying you, um, feel free to mute this video, um, 
for this for the four people that are watching it. Um, but yeah, anytime I start to feel like I don't really know where I want to take it or I'm not sure where it's going or whatever, I'll just start adding some, I'll just, just grab some random brushes and start throwing some new stuff down and it'll just start going somewhere, you know, it has to, it has to go somewhere. Um, and, um, so, you know, something like this is certainly has a lot of variety. Um, it's kind of cool. I could see it's kind of painterly. It's got some nice like uh, tonal shifts from dark to light and some, you know, um, and then if you want, you can say, you know, I want to darken, I want some of these lighter shapes to kind of peek out. Um, and then maybe I want to do like a, a dodge and pick a few places that maybe we want to like bring. Um, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's just a really interesting process, right? Cause it's like, you just don't really know where it's going to go and you just have, you have to be kind of be brave to just, um, let things happen and not be afraid to screw up this, uh, the time you've put into it. <clears throat> and, uh, if you start a painting like this and you don't have any idea of what you're going to do, it's, it's really cool. Cause you, you feel like, like, for example, if I, if I wasn't happy with this, well, okay, what did I do? I wasted uh, 15 minutes of my life or 20 or 30, or even if it took you an hour to do this, it's like, you know, you're still playing, you're exploring, you're, 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 it's like being a kid. You're just kind of seeing what, what you can do. And that's not a waste, man. It's fun. Um, it's sometimes when, like I said earlier, when you try to like, okay, I'm going to do a dragon with a, you know, with in a diaper, uh, jumping over a rainbow, then he's going to like, in roller skates, it's like, I got to get the reference for all that stuff. I got to get dragon diaper reference and roller skate reference. And, you know, it becomes a much more, um, what's the word? Mm, intentional process. Like, okay, I need the reference and then I need to figure out my composition and my, what's my perspective. And, and which is fine. That's not to say you shouldn't ever do that. You know, sometimes you have to, like I'm working on a Western and I've got to, I got to know how to draw horses and oxen and wagons. And, um, and I need the reference and I do a lot of sketching to figure out my composition and stuff. But this is just about having fun and not caring about what you, what you make. And ironically, uh, I find that when the less I care, the, a lot of times the better the work comes out, or at least, yeah, it's like you t by taking that pressure off yourself, you're almost like giving yourself permission to fail. And when you give yourself that permission, it's almost like this weight comes off of you and your work and, and the work feels, um, here I am like talking and I'm just subconsciously putting in a, a, some sort of a caped figure here. Right. Um, so I, I think, uh, my subconscious is telling me I, I need a caped figure. Um, what was I saying? I, I just, um, that, uh, yeah, you give yourself permission to, uh, you, that you're looser when you, when you don't feel the pressure, like that you need to perform, uh, you're just giving yourself permission to do, to do something, um, different. And, and again, if this fails, you just, you just, uh, throw it right in your dustbin and you, uh, cry yourself to sleep and pretend that you never made such a terrible mistake in your life. And that's okay. So, um, yeah, this is kind of cool, man. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I like this figure here. I like this composition, right? Cause like, here's our center of our image. So what we don't want is our figure to just be like right here in the center. So we would, it's always nice to have off center or somewhere like that. So I kind of, I kind of like this composition. I think it's kind of cool. This looks almost like there's a couple buildings, like some kind of, uh, you know, these could be some sort of architectural shapes here. Um, and I think you guys will probably, if anyone's watching this, uh, you'll notice that the more I start to polish, the crappier the image will probably get. <laughs> That's something I've noticed with this process. It's almost like, it's almost like stopping here is like the best place to stop. The reason being that our brains, um, when we see these abstract shapes, like if we look at, let's look at this at a, at a thumbnail scale, right? Like if you look at it like that, um, you, your brain is going to fill in those blanks. So your brain's like, oh, wow, there's some, like, there's a couple of architectural, there's some buildings and there's a figure. And then there's like some space in the background going off. 
And uh, what is that? And it's like almost like the mystery of what that is is almost going to be better than anything I could fill in with uh, detail. Um, so, um, so there's something to be said for just kind of knowing when to stop, but I'm not going to stop here because, um, uh, we have to keep, we have to keep developing our skills. So we don't want to quit. Um, we don't, don't quit while you're ahead. Push yourself to failure. That's what I say. Um, and you can see, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm kind of just following what's already here in a weird way. Uh, you know, some interesting shapes showing up here. Um, you know, you can do what you want. If you want to start chiseling these away, you can. Um, this almost looks like a robot walking here with some smoke coming off. You know, um, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Maybe we can make that look more like smoke. And so something smoking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird balance that happens here. You, you, it's like, if you're like, okay, I'm going to make this a building. Yeah, cool. It's a building and you're like, shit, excuse my French, but you're like, shoot, uh, that looks terrible. So you want to try not to like force your will on it too hard because as, if you get too forceful with it, you're going to like almost like overpower in a way that's, um, uh, what's the word? It just, it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna serve this cool uh, structure that you've laid with all of these. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like you wanna work hand in hand with this abstract stuff that you've thrown down uh, and not try to like overpower it with your your consciousness. Let Continue to let the subconscious um, be play its part. You know what I mean? Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. If, uh, let's flip it on. Let's do a, f uh, horizontal flip and uh, we can get kind of a new feel for it. Uh, have no idea what's going on. I still don't know. And that's okay. That's cool. Um, we don't always want to know what's kind of cool about this is like, I like the fact that we have. And here we're talking about uh, values. Values are, I think values are so important, guys, for anyone that's trying to improve their art and, and they're not uh, at a professional level or they're trying to develop their craft. Values, oh my goodness. Um, man, uh, uh, we had an art teacher at art school and he, he said, um, there's no wrong color, only the wrong value. So I could do anything, right? I could paint a portrait of my mom and have all of her flesh color be green or red or something, but as long as the value of the color is correct to the light, then I, then it's all going to read. You're going to read the planes of the face. You're going to read what's the shadows and the light. Cause it's all about shadow and light. So values, values, values. I can't stress value enough. I think it's, yeah, it's definitely one of the most important things. So anyways, the reason I brought value up was what's kind of cool about what's happening in this piece so far is like, I love the, these silhou these black silhouettes against this light background here. Uh, obviously, that's the probably the point of highest contrast. Um, typically, your eye goes to the point of highest contrast as the focal point. Also, you have like these shapes or the silhouettes are reading so crystal clear against that background that your eyes typically will look for shapes and and, and try to find shapes. Um, but what what I like is that I like. So the, we have these black shapes against this light background, but then we have this white thing over here against a dark background, which is cool. So as a very quick thing, just to illustrate this, right, we could have like something here that's like, you know, whatever it might end up being. And then um, it could, um, it could just be like, you know, a white on dark and then you have the dark on light here. So that's kind of cool. I think I like that. Um, I mean, I, I could just keep what I just did. I mean, um, but I'm not going to because I just covered up a lot of the textural stuff and I kind of want to work within that framework and not just like totally vomit all over what I was, what I was doing for the last 10 minutes. So, um, Ooh, I almost ran out of, 
I almost would have had to have, um, no, okay, I'm on a new layer, I'm on a separate layer, that was, so I'm so smart, I was on a separate layer, sometimes I just do it all on one layer, because, again, I don't really care, I'm just kind of having fun, and not, there's no pressure, so, there's not really anything here to work with, so I'm just going to jump back into my, um, into the, uh, brushes, and, uh, we'll do light on dark, um, and yeah, as you can see, I'm just randomly picking stuff and we'll see what comes out of it. You can't, you can't lose. And if you do lose, then, um, no, there's no losing. Damn it. There's only failing forward, right? Failing forward. Maybe I need to adjust some of my sizes here. Yeah, just making random marks. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this may end up being something that's like... Yeah, you just, you never know. Um, and I'm going to put this video up regardless of what happens with this image. Uh, if it turn, If I end up kind of ruining it, which is possible. Um, and I know I said you can't fail or you can't uh, lose and it's true, but at this stage, we're not just having fun anymore. We're actually trying to make sense of the madness. So you can push this to the point, to a point where it doesn't make sense. Or you're like, like I said earlier, you're kind of like, oh, you're just regret, you're just kind of vomiting all over it. Like, Oh, I know I want this to be light. Like, I want this ground to be light, and I want this to be da-da-da. And it's like, you can kind of push it to a point where it's not, you, it just, yeah. When you bring your consciousness into it, um, sometimes, it sometimes it turns out better than others. What can I say? Uh, because you're trying to, like, you're just trying to make make this like realistic like oh it's a landscape with figures in perspective and now and there's buildings and architecture and stuff and and uh that can can go your way and sometimes it doesn't and it just takes a lot of practice i think and i'm not a i'm not a master guys i'm just an artist and um sometimes they turn out better than others so um whatever right um, I like these, I like these thin lines cause it's almost like a uh, rebarb wire or something. It's kind of cool. Uh, and then like over here, we've got some more of that kind of thing. So yeah, we can just keep dancing around this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, even throwing that light shape there was kind of interesting. So let's, let's flip this thing again. Yeah, oh, sh oh crap. Almost just... Uh, so let's 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 do something smart. Let's save this before we lose it like an idiot. I've only been doing this for I don't know, 20 years, so uh wouldn't that be it? Wouldn't that have been funny if I had just lost that all of that? That would have been a really good uh talk about failing forward. Like, hey, here's the lesson for today. Don't do what I did. All right. So we'll just call this um uh abstract sketch 1 and we're going to save it to the desktop. And we're going to keep failing forward here. Do, do, do. Um, yeah, and like again, zooming out uh, where you can see it as a thumbnail kind of helps. So I kind of like the idea of this being like rubble that would like come down here. And then, um, oh, it's a little too dark. So val again, values. I don't really want to go as dark as this figure because I don't, like if it's as, well, if it's as dark as the figure, um, it just kind of takes away from the figure in a weird way. So I'm going to keep the figure as like really kind of a more a darker shape. Um, we could give him like a, we want to give him like a little staff or something. I don't know. It's kind of cliche. Let's not do that. I've already, I've already made a man in a cape. That's cliche enough for one day. Uh, um, but it's so tempting to just do like, oh, he's a pilgrim wanderer. He's so mysterious. No, I don't really like that where that's going. So again, like when you start forcing your consciousness uh, onto this thing, you, or at least I find that I'm, I typically will make, do things where I'm like, eh, I don't really like it. And I'll just back, go backwards. 
um, and just back up, back off of it, and uh, you know, try and uh, kind of. What am I saying? I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just speaking in, t in uh, nonsense now. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of cool. Uh, I kind of like where this is going. Um, it's setting up uh, a lot of variety. And these, these shapes up here almost look like they're floating, which could be kind of cool. It's a little awkward the way that they're like <clears throat> kind of cut off from the composition. So I would, if I did want some floating stuff up there, I would probably bring them down and kind of not have them so awkwardly cut and um you know let's uh let's see what else that could happen over here <laughs> this almost looks like some sort of it looks almost it looks like some sort of scientific contraption so maybe it's a uh <clears throat> maybe it's a time travel machine and uh and here's the entrance and this dude's gonna walk to the time travel machine and get inside or it could be a temple entrance, you know, you could, uh, you could, you could pre make this kind of an architectural, make this more of like a building entrance, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, guys? <clears throat> Excuse me. And by the way, I hope everyone's uh, families are safe and I hope everyone's staying clean and washing your hands during this uh, coronavirus madness because it is super stressful. And... Uh, yeah, it sucks, man. There's just no two ways about it. This is not a good time for anybody. But uh, I think we just have to be patient. And patience will pay off. And just clean and stay, keep keep washing those hands, everybody. Um, so let's say we want this stuff to, uh, to float here. Why not? Hmm. It's kind of a cool composition. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if I kept playing with it, I could make it uh, more interesting. And, and you know, uh, yeah, there's so many different ways we could take it. I mean, that's what's that's what why it's art and not a science. It's like uh, another artist would take. Uh, I mean, even me, just as one artist, I could literally take this in a million thing, places. I could, I could create a new layer, and I could say, you know what, I'm just gonna like. Let's do some value stuff here for a minute. Like, let's let's just start. Um, I don't know. Let's like let's just get this as more of a uh, focal point and kind of darken this background a bit. And now, like that. Now this, whatever this is, that it's a it could be anything with a doorway. Uh, now that's more of the focal point versus this these two shapes are kind of competing for our within within value right these are competing for our attention because they're both around the same this one's a little bit lighter but but still this our eye goes here because of these shapes um but if we do this it's like the as the artist i'm telling you yeah this is really where i want your eye to go and then maybe over here second but if we do it like this probably your eye will go here first and then there second so it's about kind of focal points and stuff um we can also kind of do something like this where we give these guys a little bit more value we can also back off of this so it's more subtle right so it's just like a, a little, little push, push. Um, um let's, let's flip, flip it to horizontal, horizontal. <clears throat> excuse me um yeah, yeah so, so i could, could you, you know, know at this stage, stage i'd probably, probably stop, stop. Uh, you, you could, could keep going, going or I think, think you know, this, this would be a great place to stop and just work on something else and then come back to it the next day or another day and kind of with fresh eyes, um, putting something away for a couple of days and then opening it up with when you're feeling fresh after you've had a coffee or you've had a run and you're feeling like, okay, I'm ready to conquer something else. I'm ready to jump into something and you just open this sucker and you haven't seen it for two or three days. You're going to, something's going to click, uh, that it, it can't, that it will not be clicking right this moment because we're kind of in the, we can't see the forest for the trees at the moment because we're kind of too close to it at this point. Um, so yeah, I would put it away for a day or two and come back and then you'll probably, when you open it, you'll, you'll probably forget about it. And then when you open it, you're like, oh, huh. 
now, now I'm seeing something different, or I, or I have a new idea, something that sparks a new uh, feelings in some way, and then you can, um, and then you, so you don't want to, like, if, you're, if you get to a point where you're tired, or you're kind of not sure about it anymore, just put it away, if you want to keep, maybe start a new one, spend another 30 minutes on a new one, um, they're super fun, uh, you can't go wrong, if you do go wrong, that means you failed, and you're a failure, but uh, that's okay because failure is it's all about failing forward. That's the that's the um, that is the word of the day. Failing the, the phrase of the day. Failing forward. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me in, uh, in the comments, and I'll try to answer anything I can. And I hope uh, I hope this uh, hope you guys. If you I wish there was a way to like post your images on YouTube comments that would be so cool to see if anyone wanted to do something like this and see but uh yeah give it a shot and um let me know if it works or if it didn't work and if it doesn't work um try to figure let's talk about why you think it didn't work maybe it's probably i would imagine if it if this doesn't work for you you're probably having trouble with your values and figuring out light on dark dark on light um see the reason why this section works right here for us guys is because we can, we our brain is going, yeah, that makes, that means, like, because the dark is in the foreground and the light's in the background, to, that my brain is reading this as spatial. Like, this is foreground, this is middle, or whatever kind of foreground, and this stuff is background, and there's also some stuff going on back there. So it's really easy for our brain to make sense of these values. Even though it's just, at the end of the day, these are abstract shapes. Like, this is a triangle, this is a square with some lines, this is a triangle, this is a square, right? But our brain goes, oh, a triangle with a little thing on the top is a person in a cape. Oh, a square with some things is either an animal or a robot or something. Or, yeah, maybe it's a, like a buffalo farting or something, I mean, whatever. But, so, yeah, values, um, that's... that's can't stress, stress values enough. So I don't want to do these for 30 minutes because I don't um, want to. Uh, I think that's a great uh, time frame for a sketch like this. So I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching and uh, everybody stay safe and much love. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.